Hey guys, Brian Hill with Wolf's Prairie Outdoors. Thanks for stopping by to check out our overview of the Marlin 1894 CST that we used in our defensive lever gun series. If you haven't seen the series, check the link right up here to take you to the playlist for the series. A lot of good information there. We're talking about lever guns for home defense style scenarios. A lot of good testing going on and just good information overall. So from the factory, this 1894 CST chambered in 357 Magnum is a very handy, capable rifle. But I wanted to make it a little more practical for my intended usage. This is a home defense weapon. So in doing that, we got a few upgrades from Ranger Point Precision and let's look at those. We changed out the wooden handguard for the Ranger Point Precision M-Lock handguard. It's a very efficient handguard. The cutouts on here give you a great purchase on the handguard and you've got more length than you did with the standard wooden one as well. It's really a good setup, especially if it's raining or you got wet hands for any reason. I can get a really good purchase. My hand locks down nicely and it's just comfortable to hold. Underneath the handguard, we have the Surefire X300. This is a pistol weapon light, but I included it in our testing to show, you know, if you only have one weapon light, what you can do with it. So if a pistol is one of your main weapons and you have this light on it or something like it, you can adapt it to be used on a lever action or any other rifle. You just put a pick rail on the bottom, slip it on there, and it gets the job done. But as we mentioned in our weapon light video, it is kind of difficult to operate the toggle switch on the back because it's up and down left and right side. And you have to outstretch your finger. So using the tip of your finger to do it, it becomes more of a fine motor skill over a gross motor skill. And I think that can be a detriment at times. So I will be switching that out and going with something with a tail cap switch or a pressure pad, depending on what I end up deciding to do. I haven't figured that out yet, but it works well. It does get the job done. And if you've only got one light, it's a good option to have. So you can go across both platforms, pistol and rifle. Moving back on the handguard, we have the Ranger Point Precision 8 shot 357 or 38 special quiver. This quiver is awesome, guys. They've got an O-ring retention system in it. Does a great job holding the rounds in. I've had zero issues with them coming out. Of course, the 357 doesn't really kick, especially 38s don't kick. And it just does a good job, keeps the ammo where you need it. It's very accessible and secure at the same time. On top of the rifle, we have the XS Sights lever rail. This is what came on the rifle, and I just left it on here. It works well for my needs. I haven't had any need to change it out. On top of the rifle, we have the Trijicon RMR. This is a great little optic. It's very easy to use, very easy to learn, and just extremely efficient when it comes to fast target acquisition. I really love this setup and this is what is going to stay on this rifle is something along these lines. I don't want to change out anything else because as I add something bigger, it becomes more heavy, more cumbersome, or just more awkward in general. So this keeps the rifle in a light handy setup, but still gives me an optic for a fast target acquisition. When we come back to the action, I've changed out the loading gate and the follower to Ranger Point Precision Loading Gate and Follower. Additionally, we have the Ranger Point Precision Trigger. I like this because it's more of a flat trigger bow and it's kind of textured. It has some grooves on it, so it allows you to get a good positive purchase. And I've become more accustomed to a flat trigger bow with precision shooting. So I really like this trigger over the more curved options out there and the standard options. It just is more reminiscent of that flat trigger bow. When you come back to the lever, I've changed out the factory standard Wild West style lever for a Ranger Point Precision medium loop lever. I think this lever is a better looking lever and it fits the rifle better. And additionally, I don't need a giant lever. I'm not in an area where I have to have super thick gloves. So this is all I need. Even when I wear gloves with this rifle, it's plenty good. And I think I get a faster actuation of the lever by having a smaller lever. I don't have that lag time between moving my hand and then engaging the lever. I think it works out really well and I'm not doing trick shots spinning the rifle. I have no need for that stuff. This is a home defense weapon. At the back, we have the standard butt stock from the factory. It gets the job done. There was really no need to change it out. It balances well with the rifle. Two other things we have on here are quick takedown screws from Ranger Point Precision. The one up front is the lever takedown screw. It allows you to easily remove the lever from the gun without the need of a screwdriver. You just twist it with your thumb and take it off. Same on the back, we have a quick takedown screw on the butt of the rifle, and this allows you to very easily knock about a foot off the rifle and easily pack the gun into a backpack for storage, backpacking, uh, carrying it around somewhere in a little more nondescript case or using it as a truck gun and keeping it in a compact package. It works extremely well. And again, you don't need a screwdriver to take it apart. You can very easily take it off with your fingers. I've had a lot of guys ask me about it and I've had zero issues with recoil, especially with a 357. I don't even notice that it's there. It just becomes part of the rifle and you just get used to it very quickly. That's really all there is to the rifle, guys. Very quick, down and dirty breakdown, but that's all this was just to give you guys an idea of what's on the rifle so that I don't have to answer a bunch of questions in the videos you can see exactly what's on the rifle right here. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give us a big thumbs up for a light. Stick around. Coming up next is the 44 Mag Overview. Have a good one, guys.